A ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities to show how much of one thing there is compared to another. For example, if there are six apples and three oranges, we can say the ratio of apples to oranges is six to three, which can also be simplified to two to one. And we write it like this. Today, let us solve a few problems involving ratios. We are told that the ratio of A to B is four to three and that of B to C is five to two. We need to find the combined ratio of A to B to C. Let's first understand what the information means. The first ratio, A to B, equals four to three, tells us that for every four parts of A, there are three parts of B. The second ratio, B to C equals five to two, tells us that for every five parts of B, there are two parts of C. Let me show you a very super simple trick to solve such ratio problems. Notice something very important. The letter B appears in both ratios. This means B is the common link that connects the two ratios. To combine both ratios into one single ratio of A to B to C, we must make sure that the number of B parts in both ratios is exactly the same. Let's carefully look at both ratios. In the first ratio, B is three parts, and in the second ratio, B is five parts. To make them equal, we need to find a common number that both three and five can turn into by multiplying. The smallest number that both three and five can become is 15. So our goal is to make the B parts in both ratios equal to 15. To make the B equal to 15, we multiply the first ratio by 5, because 3 times 5 equals 15. This gives us A to B equals 20 to 15. Then we multiply the second ratio by 3, because 5 times 3 equals 15. This gives us B to C equals 15 to 6. Now, both ratios have B equal to 15, which means they are ready to be combined. When we combine them, we take one continuous line of comparison. First A, then B, and then C. So we get A to B to C equals 20 to 15 to 6. See, it was super duper easy. Next question. We are told that A, B, and C share some chocolates. The ratio of the number of chocolates A gets to the number B gets is 2 to 3. And the ratio of the number B gets to the number C gets is 5 to 4. We are also told that B gets 12 more chocolates than C. We need to find how many chocolates each person gets. Let's first focus on combining the two ratios before worrying about the extra information. In both ratios, B appears. That's good, as this means B is our link. So, to combine the ratios, we must make the B parts the same. In the first ratio, B has three parts. In the second ratio, B has five parts. So again, we'll make both B values 15. To do that, we multiply the first ratio by five, which gives us A to B equals 10 to 15. Then we multiply the second ratio by three, which gives us B to C equals 15 to 12. So the combined ratio becomes A to B to C equals 10 to 15 to 12. Now, the question says that B gets 12 more chocolates than C. In the ratio, B has 15 parts and C has 12 parts. The difference between them is three parts. So those extra three parts correspond to 12 chocolates in real life. If three parts equal 12 chocolates, then one part must equal four chocolates. Now that we know the value of one part, we can work out how many chocolates each person receives. A has 10 parts, so A gets 10 times 4, which is 40 chocolates. B has 15 parts, so B gets 15 times 4, which is 60 chocolates. C has 12 parts, so C gets 12 times 4, which is 48 chocolates, and that's it. See, that was out of this world. Now try the same problem, but with different ratios like this, and let me know your answer in the comments. Generally, people use variables like x or y to solve such questions, 
but we should always think of ways to avoid them as much as possible by thinking logically first. Okay, next question. We are told that A, B, and C share 120 pounds. The ratio of the amount A gets to the amount B gets is 5 to 4, and the ratio of the amount B gets to the amount C gets is 2 to 3. We need to find how much each person receives. It might feel like the same type of question as before, but this time, the total amount of money is fixed and we need to calculate exact amounts for each person, which was not the case in the previous question. Once again, we notice that B appears in both ratios, so that's our connection point. In the first ratio, B is four parts. In the second ratio, B is two parts. To make them the same, we must multiply the second ratio in such a way that B also becomes four. If we double the second ratio, then B will become 4 and C will become 6. So we get A to B to C equals 5 to 4 to 6. Now, the total amount of money shared is 120 pounds. To find how much one part is worth, we need to first find how many total parts there are in the ratio. For that, we will add them up to get 5 plus 4 plus 6 equals 15 parts in total. This means 120 pounds is divided into 15 equal parts. To find how much one part is worth, we divide 120 by 15. That gives us 8. So one part equals 8 pounds. Now, let's find how much each person gets. A has 5 parts, so A gets 5 times 8, which equals 40 pounds. B has 4 parts, so B gets 4 times 8, which equals 32 pounds, and C has 6 parts. So C gets 6 times 8, which equals 48 pounds. Amazing! Now let's look at the next problem. We are told that at a fun fair, the ratio of adults to children is 2 to 3. We are also told that 70% of the children are below 10 years old. We need to find what fraction of all the people at the fair are children below 10. This is super easy to solve. Let's begin slowly. The ratio 2 to 3 means that out of every 5 people at the fair, since 2 plus 3 equals 5, 2 are adults and 3 are children. Now, in order to make this problem simpler, the trick here is to multiply all sides by 20 to get 100 here, then 40 here, and 60 here. So, if we imagine a total of 100 people visiting the fun fair, 40 of them are adults and 60 are children. Now, we are told that 70% of the children are below 10 years old. Here comes the main part. What is 70% of 60? See, 10% of 60 is 6, and thus 70% of 60 will be 7 times 6 or 42. So, this means out of these 60 children, 42 children are below 10. This way, the problem is solved because, to find what part of the total crowd are children below 10, we just need to do 42, which is the number of children below 10, divided by the total number of people, which is 100, and that gives this, which simplifies to 21 to 50. Isn't this super cool? Okay, before we move to our final problem, can you solve this? and let me know your answer in the comments? Great! Now let us solve one final problem. We are told that points A, B, C, and D are all on the same straight line. The ratio of AB compared to BD is 3 to 4, and the ratio of AC compared to CD is 7 to 5. We are asked to find the ratio of AB to BC to CD. Let's carefully understand what these ratios mean. The first ratio, AB to BD, equals 3 to 4, tells us that if we divide the segment from A to D into 7 parts, which is 3 plus 4, 4, AB is 3 parts, and BD is 4 parts. Then the second ratio, AC to CD equals 7 to 5, tells us that if we divide the segment from A to D into 12 parts, which is 7 plus 5, then AC is 7 parts, and CD is 5 parts. 
Here comes the trick to solve this. Notice that the total segments in the two ratios are different, as the first adds up to 7 parts, and the second adds up to 12 parts. To combine the ratios, we need to make both total segments equal. For that, the smallest common multiple of 7 and 12 is 84. To scale the first ratio, we multiply both AB and BD by 12, since 7 times 12 equals 84. That gives AB equals 36 and BD equals 48. For the second ratio, we multiply both AC and CD by 7, since 12 times 7 equals 84. That gives AC equals 49 and CD equals 35. Now that both ratios are expressed over the same total of 84 parts, we can find BC. From the first scaled ratio, BD equals 48 parts. BC is just the difference between BD and CD along the line. Using the second scaled ratio, CD equals 35, so BC equals 48 minus 35, which is 13 parts. Finally, the ratio of AB to BC to CD becomes 36 to 13 to 35, and that's it. That was super fun, right? Now try the same problem, but with different ratios like this, and let me know your answer in the comments. Now, if this video gets 15,000 likes, then I will make another such amazing trick video, which will blow away your mind. So good.